There's no shortage of opinions over who and when people should wear face coverings. I asked our first vote students who will be voting for the first time this November about the politics and policy debate over masks. Do you think it's become a political statement for those who wear the mask or don't wear the mask? Yes. The last time we visited Shirlene Roberts, she was still in high school. Today, she knows firsthand the impact of COVID-19. Her test results came back after our interview last week. She tested positive for the virus, but is asymptomatic. She believes there should be a nationwide mask policy. Everybody has so many different policy and rules to follow by. We all need to be on one strict schedule, one strict set of guidelines, so we know what's going on. Alan Angela went to Marquette High. Now he's staying busy this summer, taking college classes online before he starts at Marquette University in a few weeks. He supports wearing masks. That's a sacrifice that maybe some of us have to make, and I'm sure there, there are cases where people do really like have to like go outside without wearing a mask, but... I think in most situations, some people are just making this political in a way that just doesn't seem plausible. The biggest surge in COVID cases in Wisconsin has been with 20 to 29 year olds. 18 year old Riley McAdams says she's not taking any chances with her friends. We don't go out very much at all. And if we do, we try to limit contact completely and always wearing masks and try to be really really cautious about it. The last time we talked with Hunter Acton, he was looking forward to playing college football this year. He believes in common sense approach when it comes to wearing a mask. I am very much behind the phrase that all us college athletes and professional athletes are using, wear your mask so I can wear my helmet. Major retailers are either requiring or encouraging mask use. The rules may be different depending on where you live.